Do me a favor guys, and if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit a like and subscribe button. And without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and hop into today's video. What's going on guys, it's David here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a set of headphones that are literally coming straight out of the future. From the past, who knows? Let's just get into it. All right guys, so a few weeks ago, a company reached out and asked me to do a review on their product, so I do have to state this at the get-go that this review is sponsored uh, by Alova Wireless. They're a company that came out with a pair of headphones that use conductive bone technology or bone conductive technology. This is pretty cool because instead of having things in your ear, so for example, if you're, you're running or you're outside, you're doing things and there's a lot of traffic around you, you can still kind of get some sort of sense of um, what's essentially your uh, spatial awareness. You don't have to worry about somebody running up on you and mugging you or some car pulling up on you and you don't typically uh, hear the car rolling up on you, especially if it's a Prius. But it's a technology that is actually used by people that are deaf and use hearing aids. Um, Mozart actually, I believe it's Mozart actually, utilize this technology. When he played music, he would hold a rod that would be connected to the piano. And so as he was playing music, he would be able to actually hear the music that he's playing through the vibrations that are coming into that rod that are essentially vibrating his teeth and essentially transmit into actual music. I am a huge believer in great sounding quality headphone experience. It's the reason why I choose the Beats wireless, the Beats X wireless, as opposed to the AirPods when I'm listening to music. However, the Beats X are actually a wired Bluetooth headset as opposed to the AirPods, which are um, true wireless earbuds. The sound quality is just better, especially with the bass, especially with uh, battery life, things of that nature. It pretty much beats the AirPods in all areas outside of convenience. These J20 Alova wireless bone conduction headphones are pretty interesting. As I said, they utilize the uh, cheekbones to uh, vibrate and transmit music to your brain. Uh, these come with a five hour battery life. They're IP56 uh, waterproof as well as they have a standby time of 20 hours and uh, pretty much have all of the functions that you would want. They have a multi-button, um, a, a multi-function button that you could utilize to um, answer calls, pause music, play music, as well as you have the uh, volume lower and, and rise uh buttons here as well as the uh rise button rise rise volume button um you utilize that to turn on and off the headphones uh as well as it comes with a mini usb cable and then you also get a set of um earplugs uh essentially to tune out whatever is not uh, desirable when you're listening to music. In terms of the waterproof rating, you're not gonna be able to go swimming with these things, but if, for example, you are out and about and it starts to rain, as well as if you're in the Sahara Desert, you don't really have to worry about dust or water getting into the headphones, so that shouldn't really affect your listening experience. In terms of the weight of the headphones, they sit pretty light on your head. Um, I really wouldn't be too concerned about these bothering you if you're doing things like running. Um, I'm not sure about weightlifting, but we'll see when I do the follow-up video for this video on these headphones as to whether it's something that you're, it's worth spending. These retail for a little over $45. So in terms of a budget wireless experience, you're not really losing too much on that front. Now, for an initial test of these headphones, I will say that the sound quality really wasn't that great. Again, I'm comparing these things to the Beats X Wireless as well as the AirPods. Uh, the AirPods just have a better, fuller sound experience as well as the Beats X. These things really lack in the bass department and that's a big thing for me. Um, and I think you're limiting or you're losing a little bit of that experience since you're not using in-ear buds. Um, I, that might change if I'm in a workout and, and I'm, I'm running or I'm lifting, that experience might change. Um, so we'll see when I do again the follow-up 
full review video, uh, in action video for lack of a better term. I will say though that competing noise when I was using the headphones really wasn't that bothersome. Uh, I had my laptop on as well as listening to music full blast on my iPhone and I didn't really feel like um, it, the laptop noise was affecting my listening experience. Again, I will say the bass was definitely very lacking in this experience, but I would say overall, again, if you're looking for an affordable budget option uh, to uh, AirPods, uh, uh, Jaybirds, uh, Beats, these might do it for you, but I wouldn't really use these for the long term. Maybe you pick these up until you save up enough to buy a better set of headphones. So guys, that's gonna be it for this quick look at the J20 level wireless Bluetooth headphones. I'll leave a link down below if you guys would like to pick these up and at least try it. As always with Amazon uh, purchases, you can always return things, no hassle, free of charge. So you can always pick these up for yourself, give them a try. As I say with everything, you're better off trying things for yourself and seeing if it's something that works for you. I know there are some other bone conductive brands. For example, Aftershock is like the leader in bone conductive technology headphones. I would also check out those as well. That is gonna be it for this video. As I said before, look out for the full review of these headphones where I go more in depth with how these headphones phones respond with different types of workouts as well as my more thorough uh, review as well as my final thoughts of if these headphones are really truly worth spending 50 45 dollars on so guys as i always end out any video may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black this is david and i'll catch you in the next video as well as make sure to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video i'll see you guys later peace